Hello everyone, welcome to another episode in the Sketch to Doll series. This is part 2 where I'll be showing you how to make the wig. Firstly, I'm just going to be wrapping this up with glad wrap to cover so that the dolls don't get damaged. I just used my fabric scissor for something else that isn't fabric and that is usually a big no-no. But, oh well, I caught it on film. Can't deny it now. And I will have no one to blame but myself when they become dull. So what you would do is that you would use a rubber band. Ideally two. And then try to get rid of all the crinkly bits because those are the bits that would take longest to dry basically have one where you think you want the hairline to start and the second one would cover the ears oh no that's covering far too much and you should have something like this and then we can start putting glue on it now we will slather it with um, PVA glue. So here I'm just using this uh, local TOA glue and yeah, just put on there and then wait until it's dry. Once the glue is dry, we can start removing the rubber band. In this case, I actually put a bit too much glue so the rubber band was kind of stuck to it. So eventually I got it out and I just cut out the rubber band. Um, I didn't have this problem last time so I'm not quite sure what changed. Because the weave I have is black, um, what I had before when I was doing this, um, you know, before I started making videos, is that you could see the wig cap and the head coming underneath the weave line. So in order to avoid that, I'm just going to paint the wig cap black so it would kind of blend in better when the weaves are in. So while we're waiting for our cap to dry, let's talk about the weaves. Um, originally, I was going to do an all black hair. I ordered um, one long one and a short one for the bangs. But then the shop owner, I don't know why, but all the wig shop owners are so nice here in Thailand. Every time I ordered some um, hair, they always give me like freebies. Um, so this time I got this lovely red weave um, along with it. It's slightly shorter than the black one but since um, I got my material for my costume that I'm designing the red would go perfectly with this uh, project so I thought I would incorporate the red as well um, but yeah if you're in Thailand and you're interested in the weaves I will link the shop that I got these from. These are not sponsored by the way um, I don't think I have enough viewers for sponsorship but if you're interested you know Send me a message. <laughs> I like to start my wig with the fringe and just to see the location of where 
you know, the basic is going and then the bottom and then work my way towards the top of the head. Um, one thing is to just be mindful of how much weave you actually have. Like you don't want to be too dense down the bottom and then not have enough for the top and you'll end up with a bold patch. For the glue here, I'm using Prit, which is a uh, plastic glue. It's quite forgiving, so you could like slightly move it around a little bit, but once it's dry, it will stick very well. I use this glue for almost everything. So these are actually from old projects, like leftovers, that I didn't film. Um, when I first started doing this, I just did it kind of like for fun. Um, well, I'm still doing it for fun now. But it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to show this to the world kind of video. And I, yeah, so I hadn't really shown any of those works. So I did have quite a lot of tools already um didn't have to buy everything for this project in other words maybe i am a hoarder actually i'm not even sure these are the same color uh, i guess they're close enough <laughs> yeah this one definitely has a brownish tone to it I'm drawing the parting lines of where our buns, or no, more like pigtails, where our pigtails would kind of like gather the weave into the pigtails. And I learned this technique of YouTube is where you put the first weave down facing the opposite way, like I am doing here. So this is for the right side. I'm putting the weave towards the left side of the head. And then I put another layer on top on the right side. And once that's dry, I can actually... Want, but you have to make sure that it's really dry. I didn't. And um, yeah, I, I had to like fix it up with more glue. So you put the one facing the right direction directly on top of it. And then once it's dry, you can pull it back into the ponytail and it looks like a parting which is a really cool technique of um, another doll wig tutorial I saw on YouTube. I will link it in the description below if you want to see the original because her dolls end up looking so beautiful. Ah, uh, serious doll envy. Look at that color. I'm just covered in weaves at the moment. <laughs> so while I'm waiting for the top bit of the right side to dry, I'm going to work on the bit that's lower underneath. So here I'm adding the red highlight so then you can get you can kind of see like little bits of red just popping through. One thing I like about this glue is that it's really forgiving. Like if you did something wrong, um, you could pull it out and redo it again and 
it would still work but not for long though like if you keep it um for a while it will not come out anymore which is really nice when you're indecisive like me So the glue here is not quite dry yet and I think I pulled it too soon, I was impatient. So hopefully the other side will cover that up. <laughs> So now I'm doing the same thing with the other side. So the first layer faces the opposite way. And once that's done, you put another layer facing the way that you want the pigtail to go into. But this time I actually waited for it to fully dry. I actually stopped and went and did something else for a few hours and come back to make sure that it was dry before I put it.
we could when we pull the hair um it looks like a parting doesn't that look nice Now that we have both sides, I am just gonna cover it with some fabric. This is cotton, and then I'm gonna go over it with my ironing machine just to flatten the top so that it doesn't feel so forced and it doesn't stick out. So it kind of goes where I want it to go. After gluing the braids into the hair, I'm just gonna clip them away so they don't get in my way and then I'm gonna do my final pigtail now that after the ironing it's a lot cleaner, as clean as it's going to get. Um, so here I'm just following the sketch that I draw and having the braids kind of stick out in the Chinese style, kind of like doing this double loop thing. Creating it with this golden chain, so kind of like mimic, mimicking, uh, kind of like a tiara effect. I was just going with the flow. Um, I knew I needed some gold detailing because that's what I plan to put into the costume. I think I might add more once the costume is done because at the moment the wig does feel it's not blingy enough <laughs> to my standard. Um. So, yeah, so here I was just, you know, seeing what works and seeing what looks nice. Last but not least, I added this um, braid of red hair just to cover up the ends of where the little braids kind of meet in the middle. So here I was able to kind of like glue in bits and pieces that were otherwise sticking out and then just hide them under the braid and then I attach the ends of the braid to each side of the pigtail
So this is what it looks like from the back, um, the detail. Um, there is still a little bit of flyaways. Um, I think I will clean them up right before the final review of this series. Um, once again, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. This is part two of the Sketch to Doll series. Next week, we will be showing the process of printing and stringing the dolls. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.